everyone it's major reaction and welcome to my first review in a long long time today we'll be taking a look at the mezco toys 2019 hellboy this is from the 2019 film directed by neil marshall and starring david harbour as hellboy no more ron perlman so that's why it might not look familiar to some of you guys who haven't seen the newer movie um, this is a beautiful looking figure by mezco and they did an amazing job with the head sculpts, with the paint apps, with just the attention to detail. Uh, it's it's overall a really beautiful figure and uh, not one that I initially jumped in on. I'm very late to the game here. I picked this one up um, at a really good price from One Stop Toy Shop. So shout out to you on Instagram. And, um, you know, I couldn't pass it up. I'd seen it in pictures and I'd seen it in hand. And, uh I was uh, sad that I passed on it, so it was definitely one that I had to go back and get. So just look at the beautiful, you know, paint wash detail on him. Just look at um, the coat's really well detailed, his belt. It's just a very nice looking figure. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at this bad boy and um, let you guys see what it's all about. So as I said, even down to the watch on his hand uh, or the little bracelet on his hand, he carries all these little um, herbs and just different things that he uses when, you know, coming up against supernatural threats all in that utility belt of his. He has a spot for his Good Samaritan, as it was named by Del Toro in his films. That's his trusty revolver that he carries with him, but doesn't often use because Hellboy prefers to hit you with his fists, uh, that big old right hand of doom right there. And... Um, I think this is a beautiful representation of the uh, David Harbour version. It even has that kind of Frasier cat face going on like the X-Men Beast. And that's something that was, uh, you know, um, very prominent in the movie. So looking here, um, he comes with two different heads, a horseshoe. The different heads is the one where he's gritting his teeth like that. And then just kind of regular face. Um, he comes with three different right hands of doom. Five normal hands, a fist, um, a gun holding hand, a suitcase holding hand, and then kind of like a hand to load the revolver and an open hand. He comes with the briefcase from BRPD and two different Good Samaritan rifles or uh, revolvers. Sorry. And um, everything is really nicely detailed, really nicely painted, and a lot of attention to detail here, even down to his boots. And <laughs> they're basically, you know, those Punisher boots. Those. Um, from those original Punisher releases. Let's take a really close look at the briefcase, which I think is one of the coolest parts. Opens up and actually has a spot for you to stick the Good Samaritan. So if that's not cool, I don't know what is. It also comes with little bullets and the um, and the loader on the revolver can actually slide out. So um, nice BRPD symbol there. Nice wood grain finish. Beautiful little accessory. And... Um, I really enjoy it. It just adds a little extra fun factor to the figure. So they give you two different good Samaritans. I'm guessing one is to either keep in his um, holster all the time next to his side and then have one out in his hand, or you can keep the other one stored inside the briefcase. Comes with the nice Hellboy stand or base. Um, be careful when you're removing him from the, his shell because his tail is wrapped around inside the plastic, so it's poking through the backside. So just be a little careful when you go to remove that. And, you know, comes with the, you know, the basic Mezco stand and a bag to store your goodies. This isn't the um, PX exclusive that came with Anung Rama and the horns and the uh, fire crown. I'm going to show you guys how to take off the jacket. So what you really have to do is remove the right fist of doom uh, from the top part of it, not the actual fist itself. Then remove the other hand and remove his head. That's the easiest way to take the jacket off. Um, and then you just want to kind of put his hands backwards, facing backwards, and it's the easiest way to pull the jacket off. As you can see here, the utility belt is very beautifully designed with little runes and things on it, um, little pieces of metal. The leather working is really nice. I turn around the figure here, and you can see the back. Uh, nice sculpt on the back. He even has fur down his back. Um, bendy wire in the tail, so you can move it around and pose it along with Hellboy. Um, just a really beautiful figure. Um, veins on them, nice wash over the whole body, fits the gun perfectly. Just a little bit of detail on the pants, little cargo pants going on. 
spot for the tail to poke out the back, so you probably won't be getting much use out of those pants other than Hellboy. Beautiful design. And that's one of the reasons I couldn't pass up on him. Uh, one thing is I do think he looks a little goofy when he has the arm down to his side, so when I have him shirtless, I like to have the arm kind of posed up like he's ready to punch somebody. But uh, one thing I want to point out on the jacket is the detail. But one thing they missed is the little buttons. There's no little buttons. They're just little black spots kind of painted on. They might be little pieces of fabric that are cut in circles, painted, and then like kind of glued on. But it's not actual buttons. So that takes away a little bit from the detail. But other than that, the coat's really nicely done, really nicely stitched. The inside is that nice um, silky material. Uh, BRPD logo there on the side, really nicely done there. It's like a nice blend of jacket. Uh, I would like to see them do maybe like a jacket for Steve Trevor from Wonder Woman, the original. That'd be a dope figure with the um, soft goods. So I could see them getting you know some more mileage out of that coat. But uh, it's really easy to get on and off. Um, just take the right hand to do them off and take the other hand off and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation now. Start off with the arm first. So you can move them up to the, um, you can move the shoulder up straight, put them in a nice T pose if you wanted to, swivel it all the way around. There's no upper bicep swivel, but there is a swivel at the, um, at the single jointed elbow right there. And it is a single jointed elbow, but you get, you know, 90 degrees, a little more than 90 degrees, and you get the full swivel. No, you get about 90 degrees, maybe a little less. So not as good as if it was a double jointed elbow. Head articulation. It looks down really well. You can look straight at his feet or down while he pees. Um, back, not so much. Head kind of just wants to pop off. Um, but luckily, it's not a neck post, so that's nice. And uh, his little horn popped out. So obviously, they made all the heads um, probably adaptable with the horns from the Anung Rama set. But, you know, since I don't have the horns, I just have the little part that can pop out. So just make sure you don't lose those because then you're going to have a hole in your head to Hellboy. And that's not cool. So you can look down great. Um, up is pretty much the only position you're going to get them in. Nice side to side. You can get him looking all the way over his shoulder if you just lift his hair up. And it's nice and pliable plastic, so nothing to worry about there. Now, um, wrist hinge. You know, that's always kind of a hard one to show off. But he has a wrist hinge and a swivel there. And you got to be careful when using that because, you know, those Mezco hands just like to kind of pop off. Um, the right Fist of Doom actually has a um, swivel up at the top um, area, close to the elbow joint. And then it has a swivel, it kind of has like a ball joint hinge at the bottom for the fist. And you can't really swivel that, you have to actually turn the whole gauntlet around to do that. So, ab crunch, uh, we'll demonstrate here. It's like a torso swivel crunch, and there's kind of a little crunch down at the bottom towards where the waist is. It doesn't get the best range, as I'm going to try to show you here, but it's decent. Um, back bend, not much going on there. He can't put his hips into it. Torso swivel and crunch. Gets decent range of motion there. Get him in a nice walking pose. Nice dynamic pose right there. And it all looks good, too. It's not like that plastic overlay from Thousand Toys where it moves around and stuff. You can do the splits. You can get some nice back and forward range out of those legs, too. So these pants are actually really nicely uh, tailored. They're tight, but they still get a, a really nice amount of range. You get to use that double jointed knee all the way to its full extent. Get them in the Tenacious D rock slide pose. And, you know... Um, you got the boots, you got the upper thigh swivel up there. It might be all the way up in the hip, but it looks like it's kind of a little further down. So we're going to call it an upper thigh swivel. Then you got the boot swivel, the upper boot swivel at the top. Boot cut at the top, swivel it there. You know, the weak Mezco ankles that always happen when they use these boots. So 
limited range of motion for the um, ankle rocker and for the ankle hinge. So that is, you know, once one gripe about this um, style of boot from Mezco, uh, I think they have since improved it on some of their other figures, but this is a great figure overall. You can get them in a nice sitting pose using that uh, bendable tail. And that's not something that you can usually pull off so easily. So it's nice to see, um, you know, the tailoring working towards the figure's advantage. Overall, I really enjoy this figure. Uh, I think he looks great aesthetically, very pleasing to the eye. The paint wash is beautiful. The sculpting is really nice. There's not much bad about it, except for when it comes to, you know, certain spots of articulation that are limited. But um, when you're used to certain bodies, you know, you get what you get. But for the price I paid, under $80, very good pickup. Very good pickup. Actually, it was under 70 so great deal. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like, and share. And um, let me know if you guys like this format. We'll do more reviews in the future. Peace.